Well, this is our monthly project team update for the community. I have with me Larry and Eric. Uh, Luke and Nancy are not on site, but they're with us every week. The committee continues to meet every week. Uh, in the last two weeks, we've been concentrating on the interiors, the uh, wall hangings, and so forth. So it's been a busy, busy last couple months. Today, uh, <clears throat> we'll start out the administration building. I'd like Eric to talk about timing, when he thinks he'll move in, the building behind us, when it'll disappear, and so forth. So Eric? So we have a few things left to accomplish on the administrative building. Uh, one is the railings, the sidewalk, and then uh, landscaping. So once we get all those complete, uh, most likely uh, towards the later of next week, uh, we'll move the staff into the uh, administrative building. We're also going to move the pro shop staff into the building as well. Uh, the reason why is we're going to remove this uh, building here, our mobile trailer. This will go away so we can do uh, the parking lot. We're going to mill the park, existing parking lot and asphalt. So we'll do that. Uh, that will all take place uh, starting on the 27th or 28th of the, this month. So we'll get this accomplished. And then uh, the pro shop staff will stay in the administrative building until the golf club is complete. So as soon as the golf club is complete, we'll move the pro shop staff into the new building and then we're uh, starting operations again. Thanks Eric for the update on the administration building. Well here we are in front of the golf club, Portica Share. As you can see behind us, a lot of progress has been made. If you kind of look up to the roof, the roof is essentially completed and it really looks great. If you go clear to the top, you'll see the, uh, the air handling units up on the top. We still have work to do on those and Larry's going to explain what we're going to be doing with them. As most of you are aware, we have four main air handling units up on the mechanical penthouse. Two of them are energy recovery units, which makes them extremely tall. They're, they're dub basically double-deck air handling units, so they're very tall and they're visible from the ground. And the land development code for Lee County requires that mechanical equipment on the roof cannot be visible from the ground. It has to be shielded either by a parapet or an architectural feature. We raised the parapet wall up to 84 inches and that um, only hid part of the units. So we had to come up with another means of, of camouflaging the units so they cannot be seen from the ground. We looked at many options. Uh, most of them wouldn't work because of the wind load requirements that we have in uh, Southwest Florida. We have to develop, uh, design the building for 150, 55 mile an hour wind loads and nothing that uh, we came up with would would do that the structural engineer indicated that that wasn't going to work so what we went to, came down to was probably our first choice and it's a louver system that's uh, developed by uh, cityscapes out of ohio and they're a crew that comes in and actually installs them for us so it's a turnkey operation it will be a series of vertical louvers around the perimeter of each of the air handling units they are movable so that there's access to the mechanical uh, the units themselves and they will be custom painted to match the parapet wall that goes around the building their structural system that holds them in place is attached directly to the air handling unit not the building itself this is approved uh, installation uh, method by the air handling unit manufacturer themselves so this is the method we chose to go it was probably our first choice and it was the uh, most economical way to solve this issue the air handling units will be uh, concealed behind the louvers the louvers will be visible from the ground but we think this is going to be the best solution to fix the problem well here we are at the main entrance our new golf club house as you can see behind us we have temporary doors put up the last thing that we'll install are our final doors Traffic. Above us, uh, this tongue and groove, which is shown right here, will be starting to be installed in the next few days. It's going to make a huge difference when they really want to put that up there. Also, you see behind us a temporary AC unit. Uh, about a week ago, we were able to seal the building and uh, put in temporary air conditioning so we can start interior work and not be affected by humidity and so forth. So now let's proceed inside. 
All right, the, the gentlemen uh, are working right now on skimming the walls, getting all prepped for paint. Uh, the next step, uh, we will have trim work, uh, which includes uh, wainscot, goes up about five and a half feet. There is some more uh, decorative art lighting that's going to be installed in the lobby. And then uh, above us, the uh, vaulted ceiling, we will have some uh, beautiful uh, woodwork that will be uh, installed around uh, with a, a beautiful chandelier in the center here. Obviously, right behind us, we'll have the focal wall uh, with a nice reception desk that we'll use for our food and beverage operations um, with a nice feature as well uh, of our logo. So it's going to be really nice once we're all complete. We're now in the bar area. Larry's going to give you a quick update on what's going on here and what's yet to be done. We're in the Pelican Pub and it's uh, moving along towards uh, being finished. Uh, drywall is all in. The mud has been placed on all the joints. It's being sanded down now. The lights are all in. The uh, ceiling, uh, the grid system, the linear diffuser will be installed shortly. And above me, behind me, above my head here is the uh, rack area that goes above the, uh, the bar area. The top of the area will be a shiplap wood. We have the drywall below it, and from that we'll be hanging a bar rack that's of aluminum and be painted black, and it'll hang below, and all the wine glasses and uh, bottles of water, liquor will be on, on that. And the, the uh, seating area will be around on all three sides. It'll be open to the outside to the uh, pavilion area. So we're in the Lakesville room. This used to be the uh, waterside room. It seats about the same amount that we had before. It's just more linear at this space. Behind us will be a very uh, nice custom woodwork uh, display here that we'll be able to use for continental breakfasts or any type of meetings. There will also be a TV behind there, so if there's a meeting space that we need, this will be able to be used for that. We do have decorative lighting going above us. Uh, it's really going to be a beautiful uh, custom work. Uh, there is wainscot that goes in here as well, and also some trim pieces as well. There is very large uh, windows. They're doors, but they look like windows that open up and fold into the corner over here. They're as tall as this opening here, so they're 10 feet tall. So it's a really cool fe feature that we have. And again, obviously the finishing touches of artwork will be in here as well. So really nice space that we'll be able to use for multi-functions as well. So it's, it's really coming along. And like, like, like I mentioned in the last video, this is color is called Silver Mist. It's really a nice feature, a nice color. You can see behind us, they put in the doors for the offices. Uh, they'll start putting in the uh, entry door into this space as well. Uh, they also will be putting in the acoustical uh, clouds that are above us uh, going in soon. And then there's also a linear ceiling that goes in the center of this portion as well. And really some cool uh, lighting that really is going to pop in this space. And then some of the custom woodwork is going to be installed starting next week. It's going around the perimeter of this space. This is for uh, mostly merchandise. Uh, we also will have a reception desk. Pro shop desk will be installed as well. And it's really uh, beautiful woodwork. We'll have a slat wall over on this side to showcase a lot of our merchandise. And in the center, we'll have uh, more merchandise pieces that we're really gonna really take shape with this space. Well, here we are in the pavilion. I'm gonna ask Larry to give us an update on this area. Standing outside in the pavilion, the outdoor, the outdoor dining area. This is the beginning of the, uh, the bar area for the pavilion. It will have a stone facing on the front of it and, a, and the, a granite countertop. And uh, it's gonna look really cool when it's all done. The, the, the stucco around us will get painted eventually uh, to match the rest of the building. We have tongue and groove up on the uh, upper side of the pavilion ceiling and decorative stone around the columns at the base. We have sunshades that will be coming down uh, as the motorized sunshades and all these openings so we can move those up and down just as necessary to block the sun in the afternoon and the evenings. Outside on the perimeter will be outdoor seating also. There will be uh, umbrellas out there to give shade to those tables. The, the round uh, pots, the, there'll be a decorative pot uh, with plantings on the uh, perimeter of the seating area. Then as you look down through the area, there's more outdoor seating and the tongue and groove will extend all the way down through the uh, outside area of the, of the outdoor dining area. The last area I'd like to talk about is the path back here. 
this whole area back here and what's left to be done and Eric's going to give you an update on that. So uh, in order to put in the pavers behind us, we will have to uh, install the, the downspouts, which are going to be installed next week. As soon as that's complete, we'll put in the base rock and we'll start the paver work uh, as soon as we can. And then follow that up, we'll start doing the irrigation uh, on the slopes here. And then obviously the landscaping coming, uh, following up with that. So we hope to open this up very sh shortly. And as soon as we can get the, the downspouts in, we'll follow this up with the uh, pavers. Well, hopefully this has been informative, give you an update on where we are on the project. We are slightly delayed from where our original goal was to be uh, in by the end of September. We're now looking at October the 10th for our certificate of occupancy. This has mainly been due to the delivery of materials. Construction is booming in this area, so we've been fighting with everybody else to get what we need. Uh, after our certificate of occupancy around October 10th, then we need a couple weeks uh, for move-in. Uh, but I think uh, the wait is going to be worth it. It's an exciting area. It's beautiful. And I think you're going to really enjoy the new clubhouse. Uh, one final area that we haven't talked about is the renovation of the bag drop area. We have decided to move forward on that. That probably, however, will not be complete until the end of the year. So, but... It, uh, Anyway, we're excited. I hope you are. And uh, until our next monthly update, it's our team signing out. Thank you.